hair of talk. Um, yeah. So, okay. It is uh, Wednesday, April, Wednesday 23rd. April 23rd. It's probably like 10 or 11 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, when you're watching this. Okay. What's the latest with tariffs? Okay. How much, so, how much is it going to cost? So we are getting some shipments. You know, some shipments went out after the tariffs changed and were like, well, we can't, you know, it, it like the shipment was already going out. And so we did get some 145% bills. Um, luckily, since then, you know, there's the exemptions to the reciprocal tariffs. There's a set of HTS codes. And, and thankfully, a lot of them do cover electronic components. Like TFTs and OLEDs, I think, are covered under one. And it's like the categories and like accessories to computers. However, those are not going to get us to zero. Also, by the way, we're out the money until we can get that like they were categorized under these exemptions, but then the exemption wasn't in when we got the package. So now we have to like apply for a refund, which like takes months. So we're out quite a bit of money for some of these packages. Um, that's not in the millions, but it's it's still enough that it's like this sucks, you know, um, because Customs and Border is holding on to the money. So we have to go through and do a lot of paperwork there. Um, the exemptions still don't get you to zero. I believe they get you to 25 or 45%, but I'll tell you, I'm not hundred percent sure because I haven't, I have the bills come two weeks after the package. Yeah, we built these so I auditing don't tools. So I even know what I'm going to get billed. Yeah, and until we have two, after the fact. We have two, two tools weeks later because we have to look at what we're getting charged, and then we have to look at the bills that come in later and see if yeah. there's any changes too. I mean, I think there might be a way for me to try. I might be able to get from logging in directly to Borders and Customs, get the documents directly, but they're like in this annoying PDF format, and I have to like, it's just terrible. And so we'll see. Books are not being tariffed. We did get some some books that were printed in China, I think, and and thankfully they were not tariffed. Um, you know, a, a large number of books you get are printed in China. Um, almost all textual books are printed there. And let me see. So that happened. Uh, DHL is definitely slowing down. We use DHL for a lot of inbound. They, they sent out a practice. notice. They said if you're um business to consumer from Asia, they're holding it. They're not shipping it out. Right. We're because, business to business, but there's still delays. Yeah. I'm seeing But stuff. because of all of that. Because of all of there's it. There's B2B delays. The B2B delays. So, so. This, we're gonna get the package, but it's it's been it's it's in New York and it's sitting there for like four or five business days, which is very unusual because usually they're like, we want this out of here. They're incredibly backlogged. I also know a lot of people who've privately told me that they had something that they ordered, it was shipped after the tariffs, but like, you know, whatever, but before they had time to stop the shipment and they're actually abandoning the shipment because they're like, I can't yeah. pay 145% on these 3D printed parts, plastic, Yeah, you know, some whatever. folks has had some bad luck with bad luck. It, where, the, the day, the hour. And um, it's a little unclear what the Chinese uh, seller shippers are being told when they ship something and then the seller says, well, I'm not, or the buyer says, the tariffs came, I'm not purchasing it. And it what, usually gets destroyed. It usually gets destroyed. So a little but bit they, of a but, the, look, but look, they already paid for the goods. Yeah. So the factory doesn't care. The factory's like, great. But the problem is they're never going to get another order. Yeah. So, and a couple of vendors actually contacted us and said like, hey, you know, that you just put an order. Are you going to keep it? Because everyone's canceling the orders we want to know before we book yeah. the parts to manufacture this power supply or whatever. Just, and uh, yeah, we've it's 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 kind of a mess, and then I don't know, maybe it'll change again tomorrow. So I'd say, you know, what is it like the the best real time resource and the uh, Flexport CEO on X is probably uh, you know you have to by the he's way he's he's very biased. Right? Well, yeah, sure, but, but but it's like real time fire hose. Like here's it, the the rumor is Trump's going to change it to forty five percent. So if you if you're into that type of information that fast. And uh, you want to um, hurt yourself and uh, just be on the edge all the time. Um, that's a great place to look. But uh, I do like that there's people that are knee deep in this and they're talking about it because in the maker world, you know, a long time ago, oh, 10 years, the maker companies saw each other, I think, more as competition versus doing stuff together. So there is not as much information sharing. So I think it, that has to, that signal has to come from the top. I will say I have ordered stuff from some American companies and the prices have been, have gone up 10%. Yeah. But no one's really talking or about more. stuff. So I'm but hoping. it's like, it's unclear. Is it tariff why, related or is it something Why else? is it? Yeah. How is it? Why is it? And I think that that's one of the things that you just don't have as much anymore. But if you have a platform and leadership position, kind of like we do, 
um, we're just going to talk about stuff. So we have some price changes coming, obviously, but we want to make sure we have we're changed, we have changed super accurate. Yeah, we have changed. We have actually changed a couple accurate. prices. Yeah, we want to be able to. Let me just give the biggest business tip right now. Yeah, this is it. Because we've had to go through New York uh, state sales tax audits because every part of New York has a different sales tax thing, and we've written tools and we do it perfect. But even with that you will get a sales tax audit at some point. It's not personal. It just happens. And I'm always excited because I'm like, great, we can check out our tools and stuff like that. And they do a good job of seeing if you're doing everything right. It's pretty clear. Um, but the, the things that you, you, have to, you have to think about now is um, what, what, tools, what tools do we need to keep running a business now with all this stuff going on, like tariffs? Like, what what other things do we need to do um, to get things in? Because you're going to get a tariff audit five years from now. So my yeah, big and, point and is, it's, guess it's, what's going to happen? You're going to have to like do all this work again. It's yeah, it's very challenging. I, I yeah. mean, I, it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. It's like we don't put down. Here's the thing with tariff with with tariff codes. There, you know, there is no. Other than going to court, there's no way to know exactly what is the best code. You can do best effort. So it's different than sales tax because sales tax, yeah. you do, either there the is, person yeah. has a certificate or they don't have the certificate. Yeah. Either they live within the place that has 8.875 or they live in a place that has 8.25. It's very clear cut. And there is a tool yeah. that you can use to look up every address. Whereas with tariff codes, it's like, is it is it an, an accessory to a computer or is it... A multimeter. Well, it's a multimeter that connects to a computer. It's like, yeah. what is it? It's not, it's, it's fuzzier. Where are you going to store the records? How are you going to change contracts that have uh, price guarantees? Uh, what are the time frames for all of that? There's so many things that go into selling goods that this is a, uh, what did they say, a seismic shift? I don't know. I think a lot of people are actually just halting all shipments and they're just waiting it out. I think that's actually what's happening. Sure. Most companies are not actually, they're not doing anything. I think they're just. I think they just paused all shipments because I I paused a bunch of shipments. Yeah. And said, "Don't do anything." It is starting up. What again, happens? It is. It is. It does. It does like gum up the works when you turn everything back on, and then there's a bottle. Yeah, it's going to be like COVID. There's going to be like yeah. you know this this crazy shipping Feast delay. Feast and famine. What, like you know when everybody stopped shipping and then everyone started shipping again. Yeah. Okay. So we'll let everybody know soon. Um, our goal is to have the most accurate tariff information on absolutely everything and then figure out a way to display it to show people. Here's what a USA company, woman owned, that's paying in tariffs, trying to do the thing that everyone's talking about, manufacturing in the US. I heard that everyone's going to learn robotics in high school now, and then they're going to be mechanics, and they're going to do all sorts of science stuff, and they're going to learn AI and everything. Great, we're here. Everybody's waiting. But... uh you know, but they change their mind every five minutes. Stick to it. Okay, okay. so that's our question. That's our question. And that's the tariff talk tariff for this talk. week.